I've known Jamie Jordan for a long time, but our relationship has been based on meeting at car shows. So today is the first time I've come to see him in his home shop, and it's absolutely fantastic. So Jamie, could you just give us a little bit of a tour of some of the work that you're doing and some of the machines you use to create the work? Sure, I'd love to, and thank you for coming, Ron. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, this is just some of our you know, basic artwork that we're doing, uh, just kind of some line work that we have. We're going to get ready to roll here soon, and uh, this is some of the panels that we just finished up for a customer. Um, he, this was the, his logo and his phrase that he has for his company, Team Wilt, out of, out of Nashville. So he's got brass rivets all the way around, and that was what he wanted. As we move over here, we've got a few more pieces, all done with a bead roller, of course. Here's just a Peterbilt logo. We just finished up a couple weekends ago. I did a big one, and a gentleman liked it and really thought it was neat. And he said, hey, could you go in and add some of the diamond pleat with it? And I said, sure, why not? So we went back and did this one for him, just to add a little bit more flair to it. And I think it looks pretty neat with the, with the diamond quilt pattern on it. Yeah, that, that is absolutely beautiful. I love that. Thank you. Uh, a few more of them here. I mean, here's a welcome sign. We do them all with the stainless screws. So there you go. Just uh, kind of our basic sign that we do for people. Do welcomes, thank yous, just, you know, family names and things like that. So what I love about Jamie's work is the elegant line work that he creates. Not just the flowing curves, but the way he contours the metal to accentuate the curvature of the line work. That's his signature, and it's absolutely magnificent. Thank you. One of the things I try to do with my work is try to make everything look like it's all the way worked, all the way across, so it's not just a flat piece of metal. So we do this with a skateboard wheel by going around the edges of it to give it that contour, just so it has what Ron would say, I guess, English. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, but I call it volume or just, you know, moving the metal around a little bit. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah. So, Jamie, why don't you give us a demonstration of using the skateboard wheel on the sure. beating machine? Sure, let's go ahead and come over here. All yeah. right. So here's our regular skateboard wheel. This is the orange one. And what I've done here is I've gone ahead and taken off a notch here. And by removing this notch, I'm able to use the skateboard wheel not only as a pillow effect here, but also as a step roll on the edge. That way I can start to create a lot more volume, or English, when I'm starting to do B-rolls. So here we go. I'll just kind of run this now. I'll just kind of do a, a little heart shape of that. You know, it doesn't take much to get them to start coming up. It's pretty neat. That is really cool. And so you imagine how many times I go over it. So if I go over it and I can, let's say, run it again. All right, so now I can follow the line that I've already just ran. So if you have a line already there, or an edge already there, you can add it with this and really move the metal around. But you have to use it more as a step roll instead of a flat edge. Right. And so as I go out of the line, I'm just gonna feather out. So you start to see it really pop up. Gorgeous. It's pretty simple, you know. Yeah. Well, Jamie, thank you so much. That yes, was sir. fantastic. Thank you for and coming. And just so everyone knows, Jamie gives classes teaching people how to do this kind of beautiful work. I hope you'll look them up online. Thanks, Jamie. Thanks, Ron. Appreciate you coming. My pleasure.